This video is for children who need perhaps a little extra practice and review in how to tell time, as well as for my students who were absent during our initial lessons. You will need some paper and pencil. This is a digital clock. We write the time in a digital fashion like this. This kind of clock is called an analog clock, and it's important that we learn how to read them. Most analog clocks have just two hands, a short hand and a long hand. This analog clock has a third hand, showing seconds. I have an analog clock here on my whiteboard, and I'm showing you the direction that it goes. This is called clockwise. The long hand starts at the 12 and moves around, and that shows an hour has passed. Here you can see it's 2 o'clock when it makes a full circle another hour will go by. The short hand is very important because it's the hand we start with when we're telling time. Here, the short hand is pointing to the six. Here, the short hand is pointing to the eight. Here, the short hand is pointing to the 10. Sometimes the short hand will be between two numbers. And in that case, you have to think about when that clock went around clockwise, what did that shorthand just pass? In the example I just showed you, it had just passed the 10. We've talked a lot about the shorthand. What about the longhand? It's important too. When you're thinking about the longhand, you're going to start at the top of the clock. That always stands for o'clock. And then we count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. And you can't see what I'm doing here, but we never write 60 at the end of a time in digital form, so I'm going to cross that out. Instead, we always write those two zeros and we pronounce it by saying it's whatever hour o'clock. Just like two zeros represent o'clock, you have to have two numbers here, so we're going to put a zero before the five. Look at this digital clock. After the two dots, you will always see two numbers. Now that you have some background, it's time to tell time in three easy steps. The first step that we say is start with the short hand. All you have to remember is to look where the short hand is pointing and just write it down. In this case, you would write down eight. The second step is to draw two dots. You draw them after the eight, just like this. And finally, the third step is to write the long hand. Look where the long hand is pointing and write it down. In this case, the long hand is pointing straight up to the blue zero zeros, making it eight o'clock. That was a pretty fast explanation, so we're gonna practice the three steps. Start with the short hand, draw two dots, and then write the long hand. Again, the first step is to look at the short hand. The short hand points to the three, so we're gonna write the three down. The second step is to draw the two dots after the three, just like this. And finally, the third step is to look at the long hand, go all the way up above the numbers where we wrote by fives, and write zero, zero in this case. The time for this clock shows three o'clock. Let's try another one. Remember the three steps. We're gonna start with the short hand first. In this case, we're gonna look at the short hand and because it went between two numbers, it went past the six, so we're gonna go ahead and write six down. Our second step, draw the two dots. And then the third step is to look at that long blue hand for the blue numbers on the outside, which are 15. Write them down. In this case, the time is 6, 
15. Let's try another one. We're going to move the clock around. Are you remembering the three steps? The first step is to start with the short hand, and in this case, the short hand came around and it passed the eight. It's not quite to the nine yet. So we're going to write down eight. Our second step is to draw those two dots. And our third step is to look at that long hand, which is 55. So this time shows 855. Now it's your turn to practice. Grab your pencil and paper. You may want to pause this video so that you have more time to look at the clock. Here we go. How did you do? You can stop now and come back to this video to practice more later. If you are feeling good about time and want a challenge, just keep watching. I bet you're wondering what you would do if you didn't have those long hands written in. Here is a clock without the long hand time written in. Let's take a look. We're going to first again use step one, which is where we start with the short hand. In this case, it's pointing to two. Write it down. The second step, as you remember, is to draw the two dots. Now the third hand, we don't have it written in, so we're going to start at the 12 and count by fives. 5, 10, 15. Write it down. This clock here says 2, 15. Let's try another. Start with the short hand. The short hand's between the four and the five, but it just passed the four. So write down four. The second step is to draw your two dots. Your third step is to count by fives to the six, starting with the 12. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Write down 30. This clock here shows the time as 4.30. Let's do another one. We're going to start with the short hand. Remember the short hand's between two and it just passed the seven. So we're going to write down seven. The second step is to draw the two dots and then the third step is to figure out that long hand. Start at the 12, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So we're going to write the time down with a 55. So this clock here is showing the time as 7.55. Want a challenge? Let's try some where you need to find out the long hand. Remember to hit pause so you can think as long as you need. Remember, for the long hand, you start at the 12 and count by fives. How'd you do? Remember to keep practicing. Practice makes permanent. Thanks for watching.